Greetings and welcome to the Deckman Kitchen. My name is Drew Deckman and this person here, this is my sous chef Sue. Looks like we get some of the first Sierras of the year. What a Sierra year. looks like. This is actually a nice size Sierra. They get a little bigger. The way we like to serve it is sauteed uh, with the skin. Let's talk about cutting fish. When I cut a fish, I always start in a certain way. I always start uh, belly away from me, um, dorsal toward me. So the first cut I'm gonna make is gonna be here long, and then we're gonna flip the fish and we're gonna do exactly the same process in reverse. Um, so we're gonna enter here, behind the pectoral fin, removing, um, you know, making the belly flap free. Now this fish has already been cleaned. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter next to the head, and we're gonna cut along the dorsal fin against the bones, separating the first cut of the fillet from the backbone. We've opened the fish, and now we're just gonna follow the point of the knife against the bones till we get to the backbone. We're gonna kinda jump across the backbone here, separating. We're gonna get the tail piece off, okay? We're gonna enter here, and now we're gonna finish. So essentially it's, it's three cuts. Okay, so now we have a Sierra Filet. Do the same thing again, but this one's gonna be in reverse. We cut the tail first. We'll go ahead and make the cut here from, by the pectoral fin because that's, we're gonna have to do it eventually. But now we're gonna go tail to head. Just the point of the knife, we just wanna open the skin Long, smooth, straight cuts. Now we can get to business. We're gonna go down just to the backbone. Just to the backbone. We don't want to try to get across the backbone because that's what we're gonna do now as we make a different direction cut. And we're just, basically by doing this, what we're doing is trying to eliminate waste when you're cutting the fish. We don't want to leave meat on the bone. So now we have finished this. You always want to hold the fillets or the fish like you're holding a baby. The Sierra has a lot of pin bones. They go all the way to here. All you want to do is you want to enter with the point of your knife and you want to go just against the, the pin bones, but you don't want to cut through the meat on the bottom. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So we're just gonna kind of pull up this part, which is the bloodline. It's fibrous, it's bitter when it's cooked, and it's the bones that nobody wants to eat. When it's all done, we're gonna do a we're gonna do one piece here so we can try it. I like to score the skin a little bit. For me, a big secret when you're cooking fish is not season the skin. If you want a crispy skin, so we're only gonna season the meat side with San Felipe salt, ground fennel seed, and a little bit of pepper, olive oil. We want a medium hot pan. We don't want a screaming hot pan. And we're just gonna give the fish just a turn, very slight. We're gonna add a little bit of butter, Shh, don't garlic that, uh, that we poach in olive oil from Guadalupe Valley. And some thyme here from Tamarindo's farm here from San Jose. We didn't season the skin before, we're gonna season the skin now. San Felipe salt. And just a little touch of basil oil. Sierra eggplant, tomato, that easy. A fish that everybody serves as ceviche and it took us two minutes, three minutes to do the whole thing. And uh, we're gonna try this now. Anyway, there's the CRT. See him? Wee! Deckmans.com, D-E-C-K-M-A-N-S.